Okay, so let's talk a little bit about bathing your dog. There's a lot of people that think that the first thing that you want to do is wash a dog and then you want to groom them. One thing you need to remember with beardies is they have more of a hair coat than they do a fur coat. So if you do not brush them out and remove as much of the matting as you possibly can prior to putting them in the bath, those mats will then tighten and get bigger and multiply. I know we've all been to the hairdressers at one point and got our bangs trimmed and then the bangs dry and they're up here. So the same thing happens, that coat will tighten and shrink and mats will get way harder to get out. So you want to make sure that you have thoroughly brushed and combed out your dog prior to putting them in the tub. So when you're using the tub, you can buy, you can buy tubs like this um, and install them at your own house. They also make portable ones that fit inside your regular bathtub. Um, while you can wash your own dog in your own bathtub, kneeling down at the tub, I highly recommend that you get something boosted so that it's at a better working height for you and the dog. You will have more control if they're up high and don't think that they can get out of the tub on their own. And it'll save your lower back. As we all get older, bathing a dog over a regular tub is no fun. So this tub that we have here is an aluminum tub um, that's been powder coated. Um, we have a bathing system here and then our regular faucets. Um, we have a sprayer here. This one is called the Save Your Fur Nozzle, which allows you to have a lot of extra pressure. But you can also use just a plain old garden sprayer like this attached to a hose makes it very easy to wash a dog. So another thing that's key when you're washing your dogs is to make sure that you get them completely rinsed. Any product that's left in the dog, shampoo or conditioner, can lead to dogs itching and scratching, which if they are doing that is going to cause more matting down the line. Also, it can lead to skin conditions. They can have an allergic reaction to having that product left on them for a long period of time. But it also, leaving that film on the hair coat of shampoo or conditioner allows dirt to be attracted to the coat more, which then means they're actually gonna get dirtier faster, which means they will mat faster if you leave product in. You really want a very nice, clean hair shaft.